Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode we're going to continue smoothing down the side of the car here as we can see in previous episodes we've made some um, good progress on smoothing the front here now between episodes one thing I did need to do was add an additional line um, straight down here just to help maintain that cross um, well, the panels at this point here um, we may at some point need to address an issue we have up here, which for right now I'm not too fussed about. Um, whoopsie, it's, it does a notification. Um, I think what I might do is, with this section smoothed off, I think I might lower this a little bit more. It does look like on the references that there's a little bit more definition here. So just something like that. that. Looks a little bit better. We can see we've got a nice angle down inside there. That's kind of made the creases in here stand out a little bit more as well, which is fine. So I think what we'll do is we will work on maybe we'll do the door first. So let's quickly chuck that across there, using the same settings as before. Now, for the door it shouldn't be too tricky, but we did outline an issue um, in the previous episode, and the issue here was that it looks like we actually have a line that runs across this lower section here. So what I'm going to do is we are going to add the line in. Now I think the best way to do it is probably just going to be just by matching across here. And then we're just going to want to take this all the way down this edge. So maybe something like that. a little bit further from the door as we go so we'll do something just like that and then of course we're going to want to do the same on our panel at the back here so we're going to want to match that the best we can and then we're just going to go maybe something like that I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to grab these two and let's grab the vertices here. And what we'll want is we're going to want this to I want this to step out a little bit. want to kind of follow that same trajectory. this quick smooth and we'll see what we're working with here. So we've got a kind of shape going up and inside there, we've got our line across the top and indentation for our handle. Okay so for the most part here I think we're looking pretty decent. I think the first thing we'll want to do, let's just isolate this real quick. I think the first thing we're going to want to do here is grab, or maybe grab all of our edges there, we'll hit Control E, and I'm just going to take that in on the blue. I think 
I'm going to need to do anything else. That means it'll curve around nicely at the top there. So, what we're going to want to do first is maybe think about our lines going up and inside here. Now, if we turn on the wireframes, let's just drop a line inside here. And then we'll drop a line down here. Okay, so we can see that's not going where we want it to go. So we'll drop an edge loop just here. So let's go again with that edge loop. We'll put that in just there. And what we'll want here is we'll want this to go straight through here. But maybe not quite that close because as we can see we're fairly a little bit further away here because we do want this to be a little bit feathered, we don't want this to be too too straight. Do something a bit more like that. do at this point is we're going to want to grab all of these edges here. I'm going to want these to merge over here instead. Selecting through to the inside there. So let's just and then here we we'll want this to go over here. Do the same with these. as well. Now it looks like what we may want to do at this point is just go over there. And then we just pull away a little bit here and here. Okay, so we'll check that and we'll see how that sits. Now, so we'll hit three here. Okay, so we're following that line quite nicely, and that line looks quite good underneath as well. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the way that that's going up and around, so that's fine. Now, we could. Maybe work this line a little bit better. Just delete those there. I'm just going to run it in, but we're not going to go quite as close. We'll do something more like this. As we go up there, so it's just not quite as close going through. We'll also want to insert um, a line going around here. Let's actually draw that in just now. So we're going to want to add this in just to help us kind of strengthen the edge here. OK, 
Okay, we may need to adjust this in case we're a bit too close. Okay, so that looks better, a bit more defined around there, which is fine. When we get the actual handle inside there as well, it's not going to look too bad. So we're happy with that. Um, down here, I've got a nice crease inside there. I don't want to really affect that too much. What we will do is if we run from here and then follow this line, this is going to help structure this edge, but it also helps structure the edge above as well. and close here. Cool. So we'll give that a look, see how that looks. That's looking okay. We've got a nice little bit of a defined line down there. So what we'll do is we'll lay down a line here because again this line's only going to help structure that a little bit more. So see now in laying down that line we've got a little bit more definition going across there too. an edge loop up here as well. We'll also go down here, so let's just drop this in there. And we'll try to drop a loop nice and close down here. down but it's going to be a little bit tricky down here. Let's bring it down and through there. Obviously what we're going to do is we're going to want to remember to grab these two points and move them together. So we haven't got a little triangle inside there. Okay, so now we've got a more defined edge running down. It'll be even more so once we go around on the inside as well. Now it looks here that we have a doubled up line. So we spoke about this in the last episode, so what we'll do is let's insert an edge loop just here. So that's going to help follow that across, but it's not going to be too defined. It's going to be just enough to give us a nice reflection, I think, so that'll be fine there. And it looks like the last thing we're going to want to do is run a loop all the way down here, and I think one should run fairly nicely all the way, so let's grab this and drop that just there. That looks fine. And then, just like everything else, we'll drop one on the inside here. Yeah, so we've got that nice line of definition under here. I'm fairly happy with what we have running up here just now. I suppose it depends how it's going to look as we get a bit further up. So let's drop our material on here. Let's see how that looks under reflections. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. 
happy with that, so let's drop that over here too. And we'll probably drop the actual handling when we go around doing a lot of the... a lot of the details inside. So that's looking pretty good, so now what I think we could do is we could probably work on the side skirt. So again, we could duplicate that special, so that's okay, okay. Now, I think it's a bit tricky here because in some of my references it looks spot on at the front and in others it doesn't. But I think I think what we want to do is we basically just want to grab these and bring them down, obviously maintaining some shape. I think we want to do something like that. So firstly, let's give it the same treatment. We'll grab all these edges here, we're going to hit Control E. Let's take it in roughly the same kind of distance. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll take it on the world option here. Just so it's reflecting what we already have there. Um, let's give it a smooth off the bat, so we'll hit 3, see how that looks. So, okay, so that's going in nicely, and then that goes around there nicely. So the mobs part, that's looking pretty decent straight away. Um, we just need to get a bit more refinement inside there. Um, so it looks like we're going to want this edge to be fairly sharp. So let's just drop a point in here. And here. Then we'll drop a point in here as well, right in the middle. So firstly what we could do is let's drop an edge loop nice and close to here. What I'm also going to do is drop an edge loop down here. And with this, add a bit more curve to that lower section. Um, let's maybe bring this bit up there. Something like that. A little bit more curve down there then. Here we will bring these up in a way around here. And we'll do the same on this rear portion. So we're doing here very similar to what we've done on other areas. We're just going to split that off so it's not going to make this area too sharp, but it will sharpen up that center portion there quite nicely, which it has. Okay. And what we'll want to do is insert an edge loop all the way down and around here. And we'll do the same. bottom here as well. A bit that we've just added to curve under. Okay, so that's looking good. I think my only real issue is this line. It seems to have a bit too much curve to it. On the example, it looks like it's a little bit straighter. 
and a little bit closer to the top. So on here, for example, I want to be sitting much higher the whole way. Okay, so that looks a little bit better going through there. Insert an edge loop now here. Before I do, let's just go into our side view and see here that this is not very straight at all. So let's just scale those in towards each other and maybe pull that out just a little bit there. And we'll just make sure here we're doing the same. So I want to be on a little bit of a curve here. So it should allow us now to drop one there and we'll go around this side too. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. I think that's looking good. I think what I will do is maybe start to take this a little bit further in. Something a bit more like that, a little bit more distance. I think here, Maybe a little bit more curve to that point before it goes under. I think the last thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drop a loop just here and then just here. So that bit there does follow straight around from here. So you have a little bit of definition there, you can see. And then maybe not so much, but that's not a big deal. Maybe at some angles we will. We could try inserting a second loop just here. So that's looking okay. Quite happy with that too. So let's again. Looks like I've smoothed the bottom off, which we don't want. So let's again add our material to this. So looking fairly happy with that lower side skirt there. So again, the last thing we'll want to do is we'll add an edge loop around here. To help show that off. So we'll hit three and smooth that too. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So we could keep going just now. I think we're only about 20 something minutes in. So if we 
pick a pint of the car now, which isn't going to be too difficult. Maybe we could do the diffuser. What about around here? Looks like probably have a little bit of a nightmare up there, so we'll maybe save that one. I think the bumper might give us a bit of a road deal too. We could do the diffuser here. Let's go around the back of the car, my references. So, let me smooth that off as it is. Oh, it's actually looking pretty decent right off the bat. So I don't think we'll need to actually do anything to that. The only thing maybe would be just to insert an edge loop that runs down here. Maybe drop another one down here as well. One in the middle for good luck. Okay, so that rear diffuser section's looking pretty decent. What we could do is we could maybe drop the exhausts in. That's what we'll do just now. Let's grab this point here. Um, and let's get this rotated around. Take the thickness down. Oops, zero point two, or something like that. Let's bring this into position. And do something like that for now. So that's looking okay just there. I think what we'll do is we'll need to take the thickness down again. Maybe 0 0.13. And it looks like what we're going to want to do is we'll grab these edges here grab these edges, the inside ones, and it looks like we're just going to want to maybe pull them in ever so slightly there, and then we can grab all of them, and we can bevel. 0 0.5 looks pretty good, we'll add maybe two segments inside. Actually, do let's grab an edge loop for the rear here. Just so we don't lose it when we're smooth, we will put a, a box back here, I think. Oh, 
Oops. Scale that minus one. There. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now it looks like what I might want to do. Grab these interior points here. And bring them down. I'll do the same here. Just so it's not so empty. Looks fairly empty as we go inside there, so let's just do that again. Let's flip that over. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that rear section there as well. Let's just check my references here. Okay, so we've got the door there, side skirt in place, rear diffuser, exhausts, all that good stuff. Um, we've only got one, two, three, and a bit to kind of put into place. Um, Maybe make a start. We maybe get the rear the boot lid done here, and then we'll maybe do this one in the next episode. So let's just do a bit of this special as well. And let's just isolate this. We already do have a section where it's all running it inside, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab all of that. Not including these top faces here. I'm just going to delete them. That will allow me now to grab the edge a little bit better. But what we'll do is let's not grab those ones. Obviously, all those ones either. I'm just going to take these again in on this angle because obviously that's what we need for that section that lies underneath. And then we're going to want to. Bring that a little bit smoother. Grab all these edges here. And we'll just go straight down. And then these two we can merge. Okay, so that's not quite going as far as we had it before. points here. Take those in there. Okay, so it looks like what we're going to want to do is we'll drop an edge loop down here. And we're going to want to drop one down here, but the problem is is that will end up compromising an edge that we have here. So let's drop in a point let's actually, let's actually not do that and what we'll actually do is we'll do this instead and what we're going to do here we're going to insert an edge loop, which is going to come down and around here. Now what would have happened is this would have come down to this corner and then looped underneath down here and sharpened off that corner which we don't want. And again, adding one down here would have done the same. So what we'll do is we'll bring this down and around this corner, like so, and then delete this line in the center. So that's just giving us Still have full um, quads, but I was just going to drop that line all the way around there instead. Now it looks like we'll want to drop in this loop here. And then we'll also want to drop 
be a pair here. Maybe we've got some vertices here. I'll merge in full. Have that line across here. I think we'll also some merges up here, so let's just run it down. have an issue over here somewhere which I'll look at in between episodes. Apart from that I think we're looking good. We've got a line going across here. We've got a nice curve to that. Maybe it's a bit too much of a curve. If that's the case. We're gonna drop an edge loop just there. So there. And then what we'll want to do is we'll insert an edge loop around there too. I guess that's looking good, apart from that centre section there, but we can sort that after. Nice curve inside there. And some nice straight edges. This looks like the glasses. Making an issue there. So again, let's go inside our hypershade. Okay guys, so we're getting quite close now. We've got our boot lid done. We've got side skirts, doors, all that good stuff. In the next episode we'll try and get around the last couple of elements here. Um, got exhaust in place as well. Good. Alright, guys. Cool.